Welcome to this Let's Talk Meshing Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we show you how to use breakpoints in Pointwise to subdivide a connector's distribution into subconnectors. Breakpoints can be useful when creating a structured domain where an opposing edge consists of multiple connectors, and you wish to match this edge multiple spacing constraints using a single connector. Breakpoints provide one way to ensure that the grid points of these edges are aligned. To illustrate this scenario, I have created a simple square domain where I would like the grid point spacing of the left connector to match that of the right. First, I select the left connector from the list panel or display window, and then from the grid menu, select Distribute. This opens the Distribute panel, which has several tabs. Click on the Breakpoints tab. At the top of this tab is a legend defining the symbols used to represent the different types of breakpoints. Below that is a table summarizing the number of breakpoints for each type. And finally, three collapsible frames for creating and deleting breakpoints. Only one of these frames can be visible at any given time. In this example, the display window shows that initially I have two breakpoints at the ends of the selected connector. If I know what percent of the connector's arc length coincides with the opposing edge's connectors, then I can type these values into the available entry field in the type in arc length frame. Alternatively, if I know the y coordinate along this connector which coincides with the endpoints of connectors on the opposing edge, I could specify them in the corresponding entry field of the type in coordinate frame. The most straightforward option in this situation is probably to use the interactive insertion option, where I can specify each breakpoint by hovering the cursor over the connector endpoints on the opposing edge and clicking the left mouse button. Notice how the display window and the table within the breakpoints tab update as breakpoints are created. I can remove breakpoints by using the delete last point button or by using the delete breakpoints frame. To save these changes and exit the Distribute panel, click OK. Once these breakpoints have been added, then I'm able to adjust the spacing around each breakpoint as I would with the endpoints of connectors. And that's how you can add and delete breakpoints in Pointwise. If you like this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.